was a night for hardy souls at Molyneux, horrendous playing conditions with a fierce wind and driving rain. For the majority, among a crowd of nearly 5,000, finding a place to shelter was the priority. Who'd be a ball boy on a night like this? Wolves began in a fashion that suggested the non-leaguers from Chorley were in for a difficult night. Ian Senior denied Andy much, but Holmes wasted an even better chance. With almost half an hour gone, Wolves took the lead. Steve Stout's cross and a perfectly timed run from Matt Foreman that deceived the Chorley defence. We're going to Wembley was the proud chant of the Wolves fans. And once they convinced ten minutes later, where was the Wolves cover as Paul Moss sneaked through to equalise? This as he had in the first meeting last Saturday. The Wolves players and officials had appealed for offside, and Linesman didn't agree. Throughout the match, it was Wolves who created most of the more notable openings. They found in senior an inspired opponent, who saved from much more than several he produced. It was the Wolves' top scorer he defied again later in quite spectacular style. In ever worsening conditions, Chorley couldn't be faulted for their effort and endeavour. In extra time, Wolves keeper Vince Bartram was almost caught out by this effort from Mark Edwards. And with Chorley earning the right to stage the second replay on the toss of a coin, Wolves manager Graham Turner knows his team's progress for the next stage is certainly no formality.